Well, welcome to our Studio Z at the VIA Agency. I'm Ethan Minton from 98.9 WCLZ. We've been looking forward to this for a long time. For Johnny Lang fans, you've been waiting for new music for a long time, and that wait was rewarded late last year with uh, Johnny's brand new album, and he'll be playing tunes from his new album, and he's in concert at the State Theater. Please welcome to Portland Studio Z at the VIA Agency, Johnny Lang.
Thank you, Zach.
Johnny Lang in Studio Z at the VA Agency on 98.9 WCLZ. Welcome back to Portland. Thank you, man. Thank you. You obviously have so much joy when you play, and I know you also have a lot of joy in recording. And I'm, and I'm curious, you know, it was seven years between albums, between studio albums, and before you came out with Fight For My Soul. I'm wondering, with all the pleasure you get out of performing and recording, why so long between albums? And I, and I guess, why the title, Fight For My Soul? Um, man, that's a lot. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm sorry. Start in the middle and we don't know out. each other well enough to be giving each other a hard time. Like that. Uh, well, it was uh, seven years mostly because uh, I started having children, <laughs> and uh, we have four now, and so <laughs> I know, I know, and uh, <laughs> and uh, so you know, I just we're we're constantly. Uh, traveling on the road and, and playing shows anyway. I don't need that. Uh, and uh, if I were to go in the studio at that time, it would mean I would never be home. So I just didn't want to uh, <laughs> leave the poor wifely at home with the, with the new kids. So, do, you, do they come on the road with you sometimes? If I could do it over again, I think I would. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, recording or the kidding. kids? <laughs> Do they come on the road with you sometimes? Yeah, yeah. From time to time, uh, they come out. It's uh, logistically <laughs> pretty tough to do at this point. Uh, but, they, yeah, they've come out a few times. Yeah. Are they playing? They, everything you give them turns into a drum. So oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it just doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter what it is. It's Johnny Lang in Studio Z, the VA agency on 98.9 WCLZ. Um, I know that you spent about three years working with producer Tommy Sims on the album, and it's a long time to spend with somebody working on an album, but I'm wondering what was different about the writing and recording process this time around? I would say if you condensed all that time, though, it was like a total of three months. <laughs> it wasn't, you know, it was uh, over a long period of time for sure. But, yeah, I mean, a, a lot of these songs uh, are six, seven years old uh, when they were started. And uh, uh, three of the songs on the record were uh, mostly tracked uh, and recorded um, about six years ago, seven years ago. So um, it's been, yeah, it's, it was a challenge to, to make everything uh, seem coherent. And, and uh, it still doesn't seem coherent to me, but uh, did the best we could. So. Song, kid. <laughs> Two songs, kid. <laughs> exactly. Is that, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, you had twins, so you know you got two. You know, you could. That was good for three songs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that that was easier. Yeah. Johnny Lang in Studio Z. Um, okay, so at the risk of sounding like the old man who's like, get off my lawn, kid. <laughs> I, I, I saw you perform when you were 17 at the State Theater, and I have a daughter who is 
grown daughter, my oldest daughter is about your age, just slightly younger. And I remember when I saw you thinking, sort of in awe of your ability and how far you had come, and also sort of like thinking, you know, what parents must think about somebody who's 17, traveling, famous, and kind of was worried. <laughs> and you, I mean, you have done a remarkable job of sort of keeping it together over all these years. Staying with, alive. With, stay, well, that's, yeah. <laughs> Not everybody does when they start that young. And I'm curious what, what you attribute that to. Well, <clears throat> I mean, first of all, my, you know, my family is, they're, they're pretty great people, man. Um, you know, and the, the upbringing I had was one of, uh, you know, it was pretty conservative and had some, uh, um, some good things going for me. Uh, going into that lifestyle, I, I feel like uh, just common sense stuff, and a, even as a young young person. But um, I mean, I definitely came off the rails a few times and uh, had my my share of rock and roll, whatever. So um, uh, yeah, it's a it, there are pitfalls for sure, and uh, yeah. But at this point in my life, I feel relatively balanced. What would the 33-year-old Johnny Lang offer for advice to the 16 or 17-year-old Johnny Lang? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that's really good. I've never, I've never thought of this. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I'd probably just cheat. I'd have all these things. This is what's going to happen on this date. And don't do that. <laughs> Back to the future style. That's a, you know, that's a, it's an easy answer to a, re, to a tough question. I like it. I like it. Uh, it's Johnny Lang in Studio Z, 98.9 WCLZ at the VA Agency. And um, I don't know if you saw on the way in, there's a sign that says, this is the Crumpled Ball music series. And if you look over the conference room table, there is a crumpled oh, dang. ball. <laughs> it's a chandelier of it, crumpled paper. It's, uh, and of course, you know, the universal cool. symbol, perhaps, of creativity. And um, the, uh, Greg Smith, who's the chief, executive, chief creative officer, who came up with the whole idea of making this the Crumpled Ball series, he, he wanted to ask you a question about that. So I'm going to turn it over to him, because awesome. he can explain it, since he came up with it, and then, and then we'll let you off the hook from there. Right on, man. That sounds great. It's a big hook. Uh, <laughs> thanks for being here, Johnny. Yeah. Um, so part of our creative process is, you know, we do a lot of stuff here, and, and a lot of it uh, depends on knowing when to walk away, throwing stuff out. And we're creating a compendium sort of art installation along with these uh, intimate concerts that we're giving here where we're asking each artist to think of an idea that they're happy about having crumpled up and thrown away, moved away from it. It can be anything like small, like a lyric that was a rat hole. <laughs> it can be something bigger than that, like an emotion or regret or a behavior. Or it could be something even really... Uh, dark like a person um, <laughs> but the, but the be but the beauty of it is people don't crumple as easily no they don't but the beauty of it is once you crumple it we're gonna put it in a glass box and it's going to be forged shut and no one will ever know what you wrote on that that's really cool and your like name that. will be put in front of it so far Patty Griffin's done it and Ingrid Michaelson was here a couple weeks and did it so what did she write we I don't know. know I know I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's that's the gist of it so we're gonna hand you a piece of paper you just write what you think that might be. You That's really it, cool, thanks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, I'm gonna do it right now? Good yeah. Lord. Yeah. So, uh, I, get to I get to throw somebody under the bus here and nobody's ever gonna know. Oh man, this is interesting. Uh, and, and this is a good thing about the show being tomorrow night, you've got plenty of time, Johnny. Johnny, thank you very much for being such a great sport. Johnny <laughs> Lang in Studio Z at the VA Agency. All right, a couple more songs. Uh, we can do another one off the latest record. Uh, 
This one is uh, called What You're Looking For.
by the way, you guys. This is Dewan Hill over here on keys. Court Clement on guitar. Barry Alexander on drums. And Calvin Turner on bass. Sing a song while sitting in a red light And you think of home while sitting at a red light Too slow to roll, put your life on hold An open path with nowhere to go You start to wonder why sitting at a red light You can run on red light, give up at a red light. You break the mold when you're running through the toll, speeding through your whole life. A chance to breathe while sitting out a red light. You look around, reflecting on your life. to think, have I drinking too much? Should I keep going, lose the light that I love? You second glance when coming to a red light. That's right. You could run a red light. You a that a red light. You break the mold when you're running through the tour. Speed it through your whole life. Oh 
Thank you, guys.